What's the best way to skip traffic without having to wear spandex or pedal? Honda thinks that they have the answer and they might be right. This is the Moto Compacto, an electric scooter designed for last mile commuting. The spec sheet claims it has a 12 mile range, 265 pound payload limit, and tops out at 15 miles per hour. What it doesn't tell you is how extremely fun it is to ride. Best of all, it folds into a manageable briefcase for easy transportation. Pack it up and take it to the office to charge up for the commute home. Unlike its predecessor, the Moto Compo, the new Moto Compacto is battery powered. As with all lithium powered devices, the battery is a consumable component, so I want to know how easy it would be to replace. The outer shell is mainly held in place by four screws at the bottom and a number of clips around the edges. The Velcro strips in the middle are there to mitigate any rattling during operation. Low tech, but they do the job. Taking one panel off reveals the battery pack mounted centrally on the frame and held in place with four screws. We can get the two screws on this side, but we're gonna have to remove the plastic shell from the other side to get at the other two screws. My hopes for an easily accessible battery were dashed when I found there's not enough clearance to remove the battery pack. I'm gonna have to go around and unscrew the plastic bin sitting above it. This was a bit of a missed opportunity for Honda. They went from a potentially simple battery pack replacement to a bit of a pain in the arse chore. Note the fuse incorporated on the battery line. If your scooter doesn't power on, this 20 amp fuse should be the very first thing you troubleshoot. At least the screws are all the same length, so I don't really need to track placement. The rear light, seat release mechanism, and a few more screws have to come away before the plastic bin is loose enough to shift up and allow the battery to come out. Notice the IPX5 rating. The battery pack is rated as splash proof from low pressure water, but that's not the same as waterproofing. If you see a deep puddle on your path, do yourself a favor and ride around it. The battery itself is rated at a hefty 244 watt hours and is made up of 20 18650 cells. The pack charges in as little as four hours, but unfortunately, I can't see any means of capping the max charge to 80%, the upper limit recommended for maintaining battery longevity. Not everyone needs that extra two and a half miles, another missed opportunity for Honda. The last two significant items of interest are the electric motor on the front wheel and the motor controller box. It's really nice to see how easy it is to remove the motor wheel. Before I remove that wheel, I want to pull out the brain box and take a look inside. A couple of hefty capacitors make an appearance on one side of the PCB while the reverse side contains most of the ICs and some messy globs of solder. Coming back to the motor, using the jimmy lets me pry out the two plastic covers hiding a couple of screws. The wheel cover comes away, as does the wheel itself. There you have it, every major component of the Moto Compacto laid bare for all to see. Now it's a little weird to think that this thing's held together by a few screws and a bit of Velcro, but I wouldn't knock it because it works really well. On the repairability front, it's clear that Honda's engineers spared at least some thought to service and repairability by making the motor and brake line easily accessible, but where they completely missed the mark was with the battery. In its current layout, they could have easily designed an accessible battery pack, and I'd consider this a big missed opportunity. With this in mind, we're giving the Honda Moto Compacto a provisional repairability score of 6 out of 10. Honda has the opportunity to improve the score if they decide to release parts, manuals, and most crucially, replacement batteries to the general public.